Hi, I'm Kristen Connolly. I'm the elected clerk recorder and registrar voters here in Contra Costa County. Over the next two months, high school students will be interviewing elected officials of their choice to learn more about their work. We hope you will enjoy this series we're calling Democracy Dialogues. Hi everyone, I'm Arjun Krishnan. I'm a junior that goes to Camp Lindo High School. And today I have uh, Kevin Wilk with me. Um, Kevin Wilk is a council member in Walnut Creek, California. He was first elected in 2016 and served as mayor in 2021. He grew up in LA and attended both UC Berkeley and UCLA. Um, so thank you for being with us today. Good to see you. Yeah, okay, cool. So um, just to start, um, could you tell me a little bit about your job? Sure, so on city council, of course, we're responsible for running the city and providing the oversight and think of it like the board of directors. So whether it's providing policy for the maintenance of the city, the budget, the roads, everything you think of, of how a city operates. And the CEO of this mini company or of the city is the city manager. So the city manager reports to the city council and we help to provide policy over budgeting and really anything else that is in the nature of running a city. Gotcha, cool. And how would your role as like mayor differ, differ from being a council member? So there's three primary ways the mayor differs. One is that you help to set the agenda for city council meetings with the city manager. And there's a lot that goes into that. You're not just the, talking about the agenda items, but also things like how we're going to be running the meeting itself. The, the second one is that the media comes to us. And when we are mayor, when there's issues that are happening within the city or perhaps region that might involve in Walnut Creek in this instance, typically the mayor is the one that provides the quote or has the opportunity to do that first. And then the third is really running any of the kind of meetings that happen, whether it's committee meetings or the city council meeting. It's the mayor that starts the meeting, uh, tells people when their time is up to speak, and really helps to direct the different actions that are happening in the meeting, which could be a city council meeting, but could also be committee meetings. And then, of course, we represent the city when it comes to regional meetings as well, like the mayor's conference or the League of Cities, and it's the mayor that typically is the one that's sitting at the dais for those. Got it, cool. Um, so, when you took office, what was the thing that surprised you the most? Probably what surprised me initially is that there's so much more that goes into being a city council member than just being a city council member for the city of Walnut Creek. We're expected to weigh in on regional issues, which could be anything from regional issues on housing in general, to what's happening within the county, to uh, things that are at conferences. So I'll be involved in Sacramento or I'm in uh, committee meetings for the Environmental Quality Policy Committee for the state. So as much time as you want to be able to give to being a city council member or to the actions that uh, would allow us to be involved in the region, you get back from as well. So I had no idea that there would be so much more than just the city issues. For example, when one of our uh, partner cities, Kita, Japan, which we have this relationship, they ha we have uh, exchange students that, that come here as well as go there. I was able to help host them in Chaperone when they were here. And then when I visited Kita, Japan a couple of years later, it was truly the red carpet treatment and coming out to see them. So those kind of opportunities are so much greater than what I thought initially just being a city council member for Walnut Creek would entail. And, uh, and that's really what I love is being able to help being an ambassador for Walnut Creek even outside of Walnut Creek. Got it, yeah. And on that note, um, how do you maintain county responsibilities while also like prioritizing your district? So, so being involved with the county is critical. And our, our county board of supervisors, we're working with constantly to make sure that what we're doing also relates to what the county is doing too. So for example, when I was mayor, we led the charge to help banning flavored vapes in our schools. And, uh, and so that's, of course, the school district, but we wanted to be able to do that by taking action within any places that might end up selling vapes or tobacco products. And so we were able to help to ban that within the city and working with the county helped to give leverage so the county could also take that on. Or if something that the county helps to push forward, we're able then to help take that on for the city. For example, uh, the pandemic was huge where the, uh, the county 
health director was the one that was dictating how we were going to handle things within the city and the counties. And so we as a city had to be able to respond to that. So there's a very tight relationship between how the county operates and how the city operates. It's not just that the county handles areas that are in the unincorporated, which comes for development, which they definitely handle, mm -hmm. but how we can work as part of 19 cities within the county, how we, we as Walnut Creek can do our part. And so this relationship is very strong. Walnut Creek, I believe, is fortunate to have two county board of supervisors that are responsible for Walnut Creek in different areas of Walnut Creek. So there's really two out of the five county board of supervisors we have very, very strong relationships with. That's two out of the three votes that you need. <laughs> gotcha, yeah, cool. Um, so what's, what, do you, what would you say is the biggest concern of our county? Well, certainly housing is an area that is a concern throughout the entire state, and, and the county is part and parcel of that. All of the cities in, in the county, as well as the county, have what's called RENA numbers, so, so uh, these are mandated housing numbers that we must meet in the next eight years. That is probably the biggest issue that's endemic right now because we all need to make sure that we have enough housing for you when you need it and for really everybody. And that's a, a critical area that the whole state is looking at. And there are state mandates that come with that. So we do have to meet these numbers. So when we're looking at the next eight years, that's critical. But certainly wildfire uh, prevention and climate action, water usage. These are all very important areas within the county as well, and of course within the state. And so we, again, all have to work together. Think of it like a whole ecosystem. There's the state, the county, and the cities. We really have to be able to forge this um, important relationship forward so that we can work together. We alone in Walnut Creek can't fix climate change. We can be part of our cities and our county and our state to do our part. And that's really what's important. When it comes to water preservation and conservation, that's part of it as well. So we really have to step up to the plate and be that, uh, that part of the equation. And I'm proud that Walnut Creek has done this. We've done so many things that, uh, that I've been proud of in the seven years that I've been on city council, and we'll continue to do that. Awesome, yeah, cool. And uh, just to close things off, um, what would you say is your favorite part about Contra Costa County? the diversity, the diversity of people and the diversity of things to do. Mm -hmm. Living in Contra Costa, we have the ability to do these incredible hikes. Walnut Creek, for example, has the open space where you can hike or bike up to Mount Diablo. We've got urban areas that are incredible, like, like um, uh, in Concord or downtown Walnut Creek. We've got great suburban areas where it's terrific to raise a family and parks. And then we've got rural areas. Just in Walnut Creek itself, there are horse farms, for example. Uh, there's equestrian areas. And, and people can just do so many variety of things, uh, whether it's hiking or, or walking around the Lafayette Reservoir. And the diversity of people are so much more than they ever were before. Um, people of, of every ethnicity and race and uh, everything. So that's really what I love about the county. It's, I think it's unique. The weather is great. As I like to tell my friends who live in San Francisco, when it's summer, it's, it's summer, summer in Contra Costa. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Council Member Wilk. Um, Absolutely. Is there any questions for me or anything about, yeah? Well, let me ask what you like about living in Walnut Creek. Ooh, um, I love how clean everything is. That's my favorite part about living in Walnut Creek. Um, I go outside and like the air is like so fresh and like everything is nice and green. I love all the trees that we have. And like you said, we have the open space, which is awesome to hike in. So yeah, I love, I love that aspect of Walnut Creek. Great, well thank you so much, Arjun. Awesome, thank you.